On August 22nd, officials from the U.S. and China will meet in Washington to discuss trade. The meeting follows a two-month hiatus on trade talks between the world's two largest economies. But we're not expecting any breakthroughs. This is because the dialogue does not involve officials from the U.S. Trade Representative's office, the very entity spearheading the tariff initiative. However, we'll be watching to see whether the involvement of U.S. Treasury officials leads to a discussion on the yuan, especially in light of Washington's concerns about Chinese currency manipulation. Next, let's talk about the U.S. and Russia. American National Security Advisor John Bolton will be in Geneva next week to hold a meeting with Russia's Security Council Secretary Nikolai Petrushev. We'll be watching the talks for any progress on arms control, as implementation of the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty and the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty will be discussed. But geopolitics pivots on a balance. And so Bolton will then travel to Ukraine as Washington attempts to level its outreach to Moscow with continued support for Kiev. Finally, let's talk about India and China. On August 21st, China's Minister of National Defense, Wei Fang, will be in New Delhi to advance strategic communication between the Asian military rivals. We can view this initiative against the broader sweep of the Indochina tactical recalibration. As Beijing focuses on the United States, China is easing relations with its neighbors, including India. Ultimately, we're watching to see if initiatives like Fang's visit are enough to produce more localized cooperation between India and China, especially as the two are locked in a strategic competition for influence across South Asia and the Indian Ocean.